and it's actually in this work of art that I've tried to visualize that. So on the left side, in the blue part, you see the size of this fossil based economy, 65 trillion uh, dollars. And this is produced by only 2 billion of the 6 billion people we are now at the planet. And then on the right hand side, you see the low carbon uh, economy, which will be an excess of this 65 trillion dollars, according to me, because we will tap into the full. Uh, expected 9 billion uh, people that our humanity uh, will be in because we'll be aligning all those plan uh, plans action plans of uh, agenda 21 agenda 21 is to recap uh, there is also a, a workshop uh, devoted on that agenda 21 is the plan of action that has been developed by the best of the best our humanity uh, could bring forward initiated uh, by the United Na initiated and supported by the United Nations um, in 1989 where they um, from 1989 till 1992 locked up the best of the best our humanity could bring forward uh, to brainstorm on what were the issues that would prevent humanity uh, go beyond the year um, 2100 uh, because mm, quite a lot of uh, people indicated roads or scenarios that would uh, prevent humanity to make it even beyond the year 2100 uh, just a quick recap uh, think about uh, things like well what would happen if uh, a meteorite would crash on our planet are we prepared on that or not uh, how big is the risk uh, for that and how much uh, resources do we want to devote uh, to that so now we have some kind of a, uh, a scanning um, uh, program which really scans the uh, the outer space for such uh, meteorites and, and such a coalition which is a good thing uh, other issues were um, sweet water uh, um, do we have with the industrialization and, and, and pollution that goes everywhere uh, um, how much are we going to run out of, uh, of, of sweet uh, potable water at a reasonable cost? Uh, there were other people from other sciences who would uh, were pushing for these uh, big pandemics, for example, with antibiotics, antibiotics that became less and less uh, effective, or how about access to food with, with all these topsoils that are being washed away and that uh, we don't uh, uh, care about enough? or deforestation, um, how about uh, the growing um, population and, uh, and, and, and issues like those. So uh, climate change is just one of those uh, issues that we really have to uh, address uh, as a humanity. Now uh, what is important is that um, we came from a fossil economy which is which has a value of 65 trillion dollars so that's the world GDP all the products and services that our planet is now producing and we're only doing that with 2 billion of the 6 billion people we are we, are, we have now entered since 2005 for sure in a transition period which is likely to, uh, to last maybe from 2005 beginning of the Kyoto Protocol to 2050 uh, and according to people like, for example, John Doerr, he estimates that this affects some 45 of the 65 trillion, uh, uh, or the companies who produce, who are responsible for producing the, co uh, the companies and and, and organization, uh, uh, thanks to which uh, these uh, 65 trillion GDP products and services are being produced. So 45, 65th, somehow have to adapt. Uh, reinvent themselves to be reborn and find their position on how they uh, uh, provide additional shareholder value then in the low carbon economy which is I hope a multiple of the 65 trillion that we uh, are living in, in the fossil I've been living in in the fossil economy why simply because we'll be uh, tapping more into the uh, full humanity uh, think of uh, probably those uh, 
a, a group of, of probably uh, girls or a mixed group uh, somewhere in a place where uh, now they are uh, have no possibilities at all. They don't even maybe don't even go to school, but they are so brilliant uh, that probably they if if they would have been given proper education, access to university, they might have been the the the, the, the group that uh, invents the, the the cure against Alzheimer or obesitas or or um, or sugar disease uh, or or HIV maybe.